Hi, I'm Keith Sorum with the Keith Sorum team at Keller Williams. This is the market report for Burbank, California for the month of December 2008. 2008 was a roller coaster year for real estate, and Burbank is no exception. Burbank ended up the year on a high note. So if you're thinking of buying a home in Burbank, now could be the best time. The market index is a tool I use to evaluate the changes from month to month so we can compare apples to apples. If it's above 1.2, that means it's a seller's market. Between 1.2 and 0.8 is a neutral market. Below 0.8 is a buyer's market. We've been in a buyer's market for about three or four years now. Uh, the market index actually took a big leap for Burbank, though. It ended up at 0.26 from 0.33. That's a nice big jump. So for those of you that are timing the market, it's beginning to look like we may have hit the bottom. Uh, we had 53 new listings come on the market during the month compared to 98, pardon me, 88 last month and 62 in 2008. Now it's interesting to note in Burbank, now, in any city there are new developments, specifically townhomes and condominiums normally. Burbank has quite a few new developments that have opted to sell. Some developers in the economy have opted to lease their units with the idea of selling them when the economy improves. A number of the Burbank developers have not done that. Uh, pending listings, we had 40 listings open escrow compared to 44 last month and only 25 the year before. So the pending ratio is up. 0.75, which is a big improvement from 0.50 last month, and last year is 0.56. So as a proportion, that means that the listings that are coming on the market that are good deals, buyers are buying. Listing inventory was 321 homes compared to 397 last month and compared to 334 in 2007. Now I mentioned that some of these condo developers have decided to put their units on the market. Well, that composed about 85 new construction listings. So if you're looking for a new construction condo or townhome, Burbank could be your best bet because there's a lot of inventory that came on the market all at once and these developers need to pay off their construction loans. So they're going to be ready to wheel and deal no matter what they tell you. Now sold listings, we had 67 listings that sold during the month compared to 61 last month and 37 the year before. Constantly people come up to me, oh Keith, gee, must be really tough in real estate. Well, we're working really hard, but I will tell you, we're doing more business now than we did last year, and here's a classic example. 67 listings sold in December of 08 compared to 37 in 07. Obviously at a lower rate. The average sale price, it's funny, here's the graph of the average sale price. Here's where we were in December of 07. Here we are. It's gone up and down the bottom was in July. We've been going up since July. It's been kind of wobbling a little bit, but it's been going up. So if you're trying to time and buy at the bottom of the market, I think this may be it. Now, the price per square foot kind of mirrors that. Now, price per square foot is affected by the size of property. Larger homes tend to sell for a lower price per square foot. Smaller homes t tend to uh, sell for a higher price per square foot. So as more of these condos sell, the price is probably going to shift. But right now, here's the Burbank price per square foot starting last December. See, it rolls right down. And if I were a buyer, especially with the interest rates that dropped, uh, I was talking with a buyer just last evening, and uh, they're looking at a $417,000 loan, which is the old FHA limit, still kind of a golden mark, uh, at 4.4%. So interest rates and more inventory should make Burbank a great place to buy. If you have any questions, and you probably will, and if you'd like to get a copy of this report, you can email me or visit my website. It's beautifulburbankhomes.com or call me 1-888-284-2056. That's 1-888-284-2056. Thanks for watching and have a great day.